Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the idea of biodiversity. What is it? What are different? How do we measure it? How do we study it? How does it affect ecosystems and, and how does it, can it lead to resilience within the ecosystems? So first of all, let's talk about the types of biodiversity. So biodiversity is the total of all the genetically based variations in all the organisms in the biosphere. There's ecosystem diversity. That refers to the variety of habitats, communities, and ecological processes in the biosphere. Species diversity is simply the number of different species in the biosphere or a specific area. And genetic diversity refers to the total of all the different forms of genes present in a particular species. So what are some of the benefits? Well, biodiversity contributes and helps us in many ways besides helping the other living things in the, the uh, environment. It contributes to medicine and agriculture. It enables organisms and ecosystems to adapt to environmental change. So we'll talk about how biodiversity works with medicine and agriculture. So first of all, many medicines we use today were first discovered in wild species. Things like um, many cancer drugs like Taxol and things like that. Genetic diversity is important in agriculture because wild plants can carry useful genes that help the crops grow better, be resistant to drought, maybe produce more seeds, whatever. So what role does biodiversity play in ecosystem resilience? So resilience describes a natural or a human system's ability to recover after there's been a disturbance. So, here we can see you know, what can happen sometimes. You know, if you have diversity, you have, you know, in, in wet years, maybe one species does really well, one doesn't. So by having diversity, having both species, no matter what, you know, what goes on, you have some individuals that are gonna do okay in that diverse environment. The more biodiversity an ecosystem has, the more resilient it's likely to be, the healthier it is. So the ecosystem and biodiversity provide services, things that are benefits provided by the ecosystem to humans. Things like purifying waters, wetlands, intact forests, help filter water uh, as it flows through the groundwater back into the, to the, the reservoirs. That's kind of like a buffer. Uh, it can buffer the effects of wind. Mangrove forests protect tropical shrubs from erosion, erosion from storms, uh, hurricanes, typhoons, runoff. Um, pollinating bees and other pollinators are really helpful because they pollinate and allow these different crop species that we rely on to grow and to reproduce. They help regulate pests without using um, you know, things things that uh, are harmful. It helps prevent the spread of disease, which are often carried by various insect uh, vectors. It maintains soil structure, prevents erosion, makes the soil more uh, diverse, more healthy for growing crops. It allows nutrients to cycle properly and it, and it helps boost food production. 